Hey guys, Torque 17 here coming at you with another episode of Star Citizen 101. In this episode, we're going to be talking about basic flying maneuvers. So, what you need to get started, nothing crazy, nothing out of control, nothing super advanced, um just your basic basic flying. So, let's not sugarcoat this or anything. Let's get right into it and show you those flight maneuvers. Enjoy, guys. All right, everyone. So, we find ourselves in the free flight mode. And what I'm going to be showing you today is the basics of flying in Star Citizen. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the throttle. This is how we move. This is how we go. So basically what I'm going to be doing today is talking to you on only really the key binding things on your keyboard only. So essentially you can combine a keyboard with a joystick. So a joystick in your right hand, keyboard in your left hand, using some of the key binds. Uh, a lot of people are going to be using mouse and keyboard so that's kind of why we're going to be going with the keyboard ex explanations also in this patch i wish i can show you a little bit more but my key binding menu seems to be locked so when i got want to go ahead and kind of change my key binds i can't switch away from keyboard and mouse at the moment so i would love to show you a little bit more but i am going to show you the basics so all the basics for flying in Star Citizen, the basics for flying are located in these blue color keys. So your shift caps A, S, D, F, R, E, W, Q, and the space bar as well as the back space bar over here. So those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 buttons on your keyboard are what you're going to use to fly in Star Citizen. So let's go over on the basics of that real quick. So the first thing that I said I was going to talk to you about is the throttle. So to throttle up, as you saw on the keyboard menu there, is W. So you can either press and hold it to throttle up, or you can double tap it to get to 100%. So we're going to go ahead and break here, which we'll talk about in just a moment. If you want to throttle down, like you just saw, I'm going to press S. So let's go ahead and turn around, which again, I'll show you in just a second. We'll throttle up to full, and we'll press and hold S, or double tap it to throttle to zero as fast as possible. So, again, as you just saw me break, the break button is your space bar. So let's go ahead and throttle up again to max, and I'm going to press and hold the space bar. Now, as you can see on my HUD, your throttle is located on the left side of this middle panel of my cockpit here and you can see that it's set at 100%. So, but I'm not moving. It's because I'm holding the space brake. If I let go of it, I'm gonna start moving again. And as you can see, it's gonna show my speed at 200 meters per second. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and hold the space bar. And that's how we brake. So the next thing that I want, and I'm gonna go ahead and double tap S, by the way, so we don't move when I let go of the space bar now. So the next thing that I wanna talk about is pitch and yaw. And pitch and yaw is your basic up, down, left, right movements of your ship. It's how you turn, essentially. So pitch is located on the y-axis, which is vertical. And to pitch up, you're going to point your nose up. Which, these aren't on your keyboard. These are located on your mouse. So if you were to pull forward on your mouse, you would go up. If you were to pull down on your mouse, you would go back. And my joystick happens to be inverted, so if I pull back on the joystick, I'll go up. If I push down on the joystick, I'll go down. So let me show you a third-person view of this. So again, pull up, I'll go up, push down, I'll go down. So the next thing that I want to talk about here is the x-axis, x-axis or yaw, which is turning left or turning right. So if I point my no, if I push my joystick to the right, my ship's going to turn to the right. If I push my joystick to the left, my ship's going to turn to the left. And same with the mouse. There's mouse movement, left and right. Okay. The next thing is roll. Roll is located on the Z axis, which uh, on your joystick is twist. If you have a twist on your joystick, if you don't, then it will be located on the A and D keys of your keyboard. So those are, those are what I said I was gonna use and, and that's what I'm gonna use now. So I'm gonna go ahead and press A. 
and I'm going to roll to the left. We'll give you a cockpit view of that as well. And I'll press D, and I'll roll to the right. And that's useful for when avoiding, you know, kind of some obstacles or avoiding fire as well. Like, obviously your wings are pointed out away from your ship, so if you think your wings are going to clip, let's say, that asteroid to my left, I can roll a little bit and kind of flatten out and avoid any obstacles there. So let's head back to the cockpit. And the next thing that I want to talk about is boost. So if I go ahead and throttle up to 100%, you can see there's this little circle with a arrow pointed up towards my crosshair in the middle. That just appeared as I started moving forward. Now, if I decide that I want to pitch up, you're going to see that circle m kind of move on my screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and pitch up, and as you can see, it moves down towards the bottom, bottom of my helmet. What that indicator is on your HUD is it tells you where your ship is going to end up. Okay, so we're going to throttle down to zero, and eventually it'll disappear because we're no longer moving. But if I throttle up to just a little bit, let's throttle down. I, I meant to go up to just two is perfect. So we'll leave it there stationary, right? So if I turn real quick, at this speed, my ship's always going to be kind of going in the direction that my ship is pointing in. But if I move it up to about 50% here, not 100%, <laughs> about 50%, and we turn, as you can see, my ship's kind of still going in the direction, and my momentum's going to continue until my thrusters kind of correct everything and I start going forward. So let's take a quick turn again. As you can see, I'm still kind of going in that direction until my ship corrects itself. So it's very important to pay attention to that circle to know what direction you're en gonna end up in. So let me go ahead and point at this asteroid here, right? So if we just do a quick turn, we're gonna keep going towards that asteroid. So you have to be really careful because your ship doesn't adjust all that quickly. So let's see, now it adjusts. I turn real quick and I'm gonna run into that asteroid even though I wasn't pointed at it. So now talking about boost is boost kind of helps your ship correct itself quicker. So again, let's point at this asteroid and I'm gonna turn to left and hit boost and it allows us, it corrects much, much quicker as you can see. Now, boost is on your shift key of your keyboard. So again, you have a limited number of boost, so you have to be careful when you use it. And if you hold it down too long, it will have a negative effect. So let's go ahead and pitch up and hold the boost. And you'll see this negative effect. Eventually, you're going to black out. So you have to be very careful of how often you use it and how much you use it, because it will have negative effects. You need your boost to maneuver in Star Citizen. It's very important. So you have to be very, very careful how much you use. Now, it does on most ships come back over time as you have a fuel scoop on your ship. So it'll take whatever hydrogen or whatever is in the atmosphere and uh, kind of replenish that over time. So again, I'm pointed at this asteroid and I want to avoid it at some point, but I want to avoid it at the last minute. Warning. I'm going to turn to the left and boost to kind of continue my ship going in that direction. And I'm holding the boost down again, and this kind of allows my ship to correct itself a bit quicker. But as you can see, I was starting to fog up a little bit, and that's the signs that you're about to black out, so you have to be very careful with that. Because if you black out when in a combat fight, you're a sitting duck. Now, let's throttle down to zero. Let's go ahead and point ourselves at a large object. Like this asteroid here. Okay. So, the next thing that I want to talk about is really, really fun and really, really important to use in Star Citizen, and that is decoupled mode. Now, on the right side of my HUD, in the front panel, you can see uh, the top two things are countermeasures. The next thing that's crossed out is automated that is your automated landing system we're not going to really talk about that today i've done a video about that in the past and i will link it in the description below as well as it will be linked at the top right corner 
right now. So if I go ahead and press my caps lock key, my coupled indicator turns off. So we are now decoupled. Now what does decoupled mean? Let's go ahead and recouple and I'll show you. So I'm gonna throttle up to about 18%. I don't need that much. I'm going to go ahead and press my caps lock key again and decouple. Now I'm gonna turn my ship. And as you can see, that indicator that shows us where our ship's gonna end up hasn't moved at all. So how you use decouple is, if you want to be going in the same direction, but point your ship in a different direction. So for example, somebody's shooting at you from behind, you can continue in the direction that you were going and fire your guns in the direction behind you. But again, you have to be careful because you're gonna be continuing to go in the same direction if you don't recouple. And when you recouple, your ship will automatically readjust itself and point towards your nose. Now, decoupling is used for a number of things. I use it mostly, the most that I use it for is when I'm flying and somebody flies past me, I can decouple, turn towards them, recouple, and go back in that direction. It's a very useful tool when fighting. Now, combined with decoupling is strafing. You can strafe when coupled, but I'm gonna kind of show it to you when decoupled because it's much easier to kind of explain. So, strafing is essentially, now we're bringing in the six degrees of freedom. So that's what it is. Basically, you can move up, down, forward, back, left, and right. So up is one, down is two, back is three, forward is four, left is five, and right is six. So we can go in six different directions, six degrees of freedom. When in decoupled mode, you can combine these together. When in coupled mode, you cannot. So if I want to strafe to the right, I'm gonna go ahead and press my E key. And as you can see, my ship starts moving to the right. And you can combine this with boost, and you will get a little boost towards your strafe. So now I'm gonna go ahead and strafe to the left. And as you can see, when in decoupled, you're gonna continue in the same direction. Now if I recouple, again, Warning. You are approaching my ship is just going to readjust. Okay? So let's let our ship adjust here. Let's let it adjust itself a little bit. We're gonna throttle down and I'll show you the uses for strafing. Now, this time I'll, I'll strafe when in coupled mode so you can kind of see that indicator of which direction we're going in. I'm facing this asteroid. I wanna avoid it. I can strafe to the left to avoid it. And I will just, your ship will automatically readjust Proximity itself alert. towards your nose as you let go of the key. So again, strafe to the left strafe to the right. This is strafing in coupled mode. So the keybinds for these are, now here's where it gets interesting. Strafe forward is W, strafe back is S. So when in coupled mode, those are binded to your throttle. So if you wanted to strafe forward and strafe back when in coupled mode, you would have to rebind your throttle to something else or rebind your strafe forward and strafe back to something else. So. Let me go ahead and show you all the degrees of freedom here. I'm gonna go ahead and strafe forward. So we're moving forward. I'm gonna strafe back. So now I'm moving backwards, as you can see by the space dust there. And this is very, very useful when somebody's firing at you because then you can strafe right. You can strafe left. Okay. All right, we're gonna run into something behind us. So we're gonna go ahead and strafe forward again. You can strafe down and you can strafe up, up. Now you can combine these together. So now I'm gonna strafe to the left and up. And we'll go in a little diagonal direction there, as you can see how we're moving away from the big asteroid. And we ran into something. So again, when in decoupled, it's very hard to tell where you're going because you're usually not facing the direction that you're going in. So you kind of have to pay attention to what's going on and what you're doing. Um, but those are really the basics of flying in Star Citizen. So, you know, go ahead and get into free flight, practice your maneuvers, you know, you know, really boost and go towards um, an asteroid and you can either, you know, kind of yaw away from it and combine it with strafe.
and you can, and one of the like things that I love to practice is try and point in the same direction of something and still kind of be able to target it. So you can kind of fly around a ship and stay targeted on it while strafing to the right. And as you guys know, Torque always strafes to the right. So yeah, that's ba that's pretty much it, guys. Those are the basics of flying. So get out there, get some practice, enjoy yourselves in Arena Commander. And if you like this video, please like it. If you disliked it, you know what to do. If you have any questions that you want to ask me, if this was a little bit confusing to you, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll answer it. And if you haven't checked out my Twitch stream where we fly Star Citizen pretty regularly, go ahead and head over to twitch.tv slash twerk17. And I will see you guys next time.